bless you and welcome to pre-service commentary. My name is Pastor Sakanya, and on behalf of Dr. Sonny Badu and the lovely First Lady Annie Badu, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So glad to be here yes. tonight. We are so excited about what God is going to do on this night. I just finished in the music department, the praise and worship, the band is ready and excited. We're ready to just give God the best glory he deserves. I'm excited too. I was, yes. you know, praising the Lord. I was giving the Lord my holy dance. Hallelujah. I was David dancing like David danced over here. You know, I'm not sure if I was really doing that, oh, but do I was it. dancing. <laughs> we bless the Lord for your life. We thank you all for joining us. Come on into the chat room, share, like, and comment. Get the party started. This is a Holy Ghost party. And so you're going to get this party started just like you did when you were in the world. Amen. 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 <laughs> so we thank the Lord for those of you who just joined the sanctuary and came first. The first are always to receive the first fruit of every blessing. So we thank the Lord for your life. It has been an incredible Sunday. Were you on Zoom service today, Pastor? I was. I please forgive me because I was working, but I was. Yes, but, it was really good. And Apostle. it was talking about honesty. Honesty. Yes. yes. So important. Yes. God loves the truth. He does. He does. And yes. the truth will set us it free. It will make us free. Yes. Honesty. Don't let anything in this world, on this earthly realm, press you to do anything but tell the truth. That's right. That's Amen. right. It's something about being honest that gives you a freedom in your spirit. And yes. you, you know, you can sleep well at night. Even Real if, good. you know, sometimes, you know, as Apostle was preaching today, the truth is not popular. I love when he said today that um, a lie will chase you around the world seven times mm. until the truth catch up with you or something like that. And it will. It will, it will. Catch up. No, he, basically he was saying that a lie can last a long time, mm -hmm. but when the truth finally comes, it's a freedom in that. Yes. And, uh, it, and, you know, a lot of times, you know, it will stand and stand strong. And everybody will be like, oh, okay, that was the truth. So the truth. it was the truth. And so yes. we love what's going on here at, Somebody just airdropped me something. We love what's going on here at Rock Hill Church. Our pastor, our prophet, our apostle, <laughs> he teaches us the truth. He tells oh, us the yes. truth. He is very honest very, and, yes. and very transparent. Yes. And, you know, yeah. um, uh, Papa, Dr. Bardu was preaching. He was giving examples, and I don't want to go into detail because I might mess it up. Mm -hmm. But he did say that in some places some area in the word that the people could not tell the truth yes you know so please tune in i do not want to paraphrase i don't want to touch that but there was places where oh, moses yes. there was places where uh, uh was it that 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 uh, one was the actually the cousin of the sister was the wife but he told him it was a cousin or vice versa oh yes yes yeah. yes there was different examples so because God is sovereign, we better know the difference. Now, don't tell. Was that Abraham don't said? tell. I think it was Abraham. It was Abraham. Don't said. tell something and God don't have your back. Okay? Yes, yes. All right? Because he said he hates the liar. Yes. He said Satan is the father of lies. Yes. But we, that's why we love here at Rock Hill, because we study and we go deep into the word. Amen. Amen. And Amen. I and it's so interesting because as that word came forth today, I was actually reading um, in the Bible um, last night where sometimes when people are not honest and they can't tell the truth, it's because it's something in their bloodline. It's like a generational curse. Generational, and they they're they're ashamed. They're they're hiding. Yes. You know, and so um, just tell the truth. Yes. You know, the li long long time many people do, but not tell the bill collector the truth. <laughs> I remember one day, uh, one time, I'm not going to be long, there was a sister many, many years ago, and I was crying. I said, they said, hey, the bill is due. They're going to come and get, and they're going to do this. And I'm just crying. She said, tell them they can't get blood out of a turnip. <laughs> so when the bill collector called back, I said, you can't get blood out of a turnip. And the man said, ma'am, I'll come get the whole turnip. <laughs> so just tell the truth. Just tell the truth. Well, the, the, the interesting thing about that, I know we were kind of getting off of course a little bit, a little but bit. nowadays <laughs> when you're honest, there, there are 
with bill collectors, there are concessions made for when you're in a hardship. So you sometimes when you tell the truth, Just tell them the you're truth. amazed at the Bible. Yeah, don't make They'll excuses. work with you. <laughs> right. They will work with you. Amen. And so it was a blessed, blessed, blessed teaching mm-hmm. at, on Zoom. Of course, it's never re-recorded. So if you did not join, you missed it. We um, basically are asking everyone, we, w- we love to have everyone on 12 noon Zoom. You, you can do it from the comfort of your home, from your car, if you're at work, you can just listen in. I mean, you want to be at the Zoom service, and it's yes. called Destiny Hour at 12 noon every Sunday. Make sure you're a part. It was very, very powerful. It was a good way to start off your Sunday. Word. It was. Yeah. It was great. It was great. Today was great, and we had a great day, and now it's time for empowerment service. But last Sunday, Papa talked about heaven mm-hmm. in me. Very, very powerful word, and so there's so many things that you can take from that. And Papa talked about three things that God is an on, omnipresent God. He's omnipotent and he's um, omnipotent. So we want to keep that in mind. And so the revelation basically is just understanding who Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God is. The Trinity is to you. Do you have anything to say about that, Pastor? I think when we began to say, if, if heaven is in me, yeah. then I can healed is if heaven is in me i have strength if heaven is in me amen then uh, i i'm his child there's nothing too hard for god there's nothing his too promises hard. are yes and amen he wants the best for us yes and we are his children yes. He created us that's right if heaven is in me then if god said it it shall come to pass all things are possible all things, all things. and god wants to partner with us in our miracles um, he, he wants to partner with us in our signs and our wonders. And so we want to make sure that we understand as long as we can dig deep and find the strength and the courage and the boldness to, st- to stand on God's word, everything is possible. Ashley, come on over here since you. You might as well. Come, you might as well. You look so beautiful. Ashley, this is our What would you say about, bird. were you here last Sunday? Well, what would Tell you me about it. Well, it was about heaven and me. So how do you feel about the God that rests inside of you? Oh, that's strong. Let me tell you. <clears throat> the God that rests in me. Let's see. I was having a conversation with someone earlier today, and we're both educators. So I just started my school year back, right? And he said, we're both worship leaders, and we know how to come into a room and sing heaven down, right? But then when we get in certain situations, we forget about the heaven that rests in us, and we forget how to um, create our own joy in different atmospheres and how to um, let heaven rest in those different classrooms that we're in. Because, you know, kids are kids, right? And things get a little difficult. Sometimes we forget. So um, I really like that message, the heaven in me. Don't forget, like, it doesn't just happen on Sundays, right? You have to remember all week long about the heaven that rests in you. So I like that. Yes. Awesome. That was an awesome answer. Thank you, Ms. Ashley. <laughs> Thank well, we you. can't wait to hear praise and worship. We know you are going to bring the oh, heavens yes. down because we know the anointing rests up. inside of you. <laughs> yes. Glory <laughs> to God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she is so beautiful. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> That's what was really going on. She was trying to get past us <laughs> and came into the camera view, but you know, that she is so, so articulate. And well spoken. Yes. I knew she would come through with an awesome said. answer. That and so that's it. what we do here. We we are all working yes. together as a team. Amen. We love our church. We love everyone in our church. And we all have something to add yes. to the heaven and to the kingdom of God, and especially to the body of Christ that our Papa is building here at Rock Hill Church. So we champion, you know, Rock Hill Church, the Destiny Arena. We want you to come and be a part. We want you to share, like, and comment. Please, please. Yes, yes. Yes, t- uh, call your friends. Share right now on um, the YouTube, the Instagram, all the social media. Say, come on and tune in and watch Rock Hill service with us tonight and hear a mighty rhema word from none other than our very own Dr. Sonny Badu. As we keep him lifted, because I tell you, he not only preaches here, he not only teaches here, but he is global. So it is a supernatural strength that God has given him. And we count it an honor, we count it a blessing to have a man of God who is still standing, 
for the word of God. It's still represented. Incredible. Hallelujah, the kingdom. I tell you, I'm excited. I'm excited. Very, very powerful. And speaking of being uh, global, Papa is on his way to some cities and states Uh and countries near you. I mean, he never stops going. He has really, really taken on his call very seriously um, and best especially in the area of deliverance. Wow. So he will be in Maryland doing some deliverance. Uh, Pastor, would you tell us what he's doing yes, there? Yes, Dr. Sonny Badu, he will be in Maryland uh, at the Prophetic Deliverance Conference Thursday, August 31st through September the 2nd. This will be at Restoration Church, 119 Center Way. This is Greenbelt, Maryland. So all of you in Maryland or close in the vicinity, D.C., Philadelphia, New York, yes. wherever you are, you know, wherever you want to try. If you're down in Alabama or Mississippi, if you want to travel to Maryland through this uh, phenomenal deliverance conference, be there. What do we have going on next? Where are we going next? Oh, wow. Ooh, Toronto. There's another prophetic deliverance. You know, deliverance is really, really, really needed. In the it's South. so very I, I, important. I mean, it, it always has been, but a lot of people went through a lot during the last three or four years. A lot of people are struggling with different strongholds of depression and disappointment, and some have lost loved ones. So, um, you know, just different uh uh, what you talked about, the generation. Yes, generational uh, curses, curses. You know, so we are, got, you know, there's very few. We don't take it lightly. There's few that will labor with you and pray you through that and pray you to your deliverance. So we thank God for Dr. Badu. He will be in Toronto for a prophetic deliverance conference Thursday, the 14th through Saturday, the 16th in September. And I can't really see the That's bottom. at Christian Hope okay. Ministries International at yes. 1177 Finch Avenue, West Unit 20, North York, Ontario. Ontario. And where is Papa going next, ladies? New oh. York. New York. I, I believe you're trying to get off of <laughs> New York. New York got, has it going on. I they was do. born there, don't know nothing about it. But New York, we thank you for really just blessing and treating our Papa real good. You have to be because he keeps going back. Amen? Yes. And amen. that will be another prophetic deliverance conference Thursday the 21st through Saturday the 23rd in September. Amen. amen. And what's next? is What do we have next? Florida Prophetic Deliverance Conference. The theme is Entering into the Glory Realm. That is Wednesday the 27th through Friday the 29th of September yes. at 6500 Southwest 47th Street Drive. Screenshot the flyer. Share it on your social media, please. And I know the um, Amsterdam and where's next? That is coming as well. A lot. Oh, North Carolina. North Carolina. October the 5th through October the 7th, another prophetic deliverance conference. These are save the date. So if you're wondering if the address is not on the flyer, know it's save the date. Save he the is date. coming. We will announce the address. It is forthcoming. And where's next? And make sure this is Ignite Germany. This will be in Germany uh, Thursday and Friday on the 26th and 27th of October. Amen. And it says, get ready, get ready, get ready. Ignite also in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Saturday the 28th and the 29th of October. Uh, that's 2023. And uh, I cannot pronounce the venue, but that will be in Amsterdam. Please just stay tuned. Re- go to our website. Go to Instagram. We always have the, uh, the information posted on every social media site. Yes. Virginia, Papa is on the way. And this, I think this is this oil different. Yes, it is different. Wednesday the 15th through Sunday the 19th of November, 7 p.m. each night, 10 a.m. on Sunday at 3115. I think that's Glone Sky Boulevard, Woodbridge, Virginia. Amen. And Papa, you know, it's amazing when pastors acknowledge that the oil on Papa's life is it's, different. Yeah. Yes. Amen. And Amen. where is next? Oh, wow. I think that might be it. But that I'm telling be. you, deliverance is coming to a city, country yes. near you. Stay tuned. Stay connected. Pay for our Papa's strength because this right. is a lot of traveling. And please remember, even if you're not in that area, if you know someone in that area, call them yeah. they don't want it would be a blessing and a gift to them if you let them know that this kind of service and, and and prophetic conference is going on right near them so invite 
everyone that you can. Amen. Well, it is time for us to wrap. It is time for us for service, praise, and worship. Prayer, the word is coming yes. up next. It is time for every individual who is up under this anointing to rise, rule, and reign. And reign. God, God bless, bless you all. all. God wants to do something he says let us the number three also stands for the Trinity God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit so this year is a year that the entire Trinity the Father Son and the Holy Spirit will back everything that he God promised you that's why this year is your year of accomplishment it doesn't matter how old you are. Whatever God started with you, he is faithful and just to complete it. You shall achieve everything you planned as a couple, everything you planned as a company, everything you planned as a business, everything you planned in your career. In the mighty name of Jesus, I don't care what has been put in place to limit you. I don't care how many family evil altars you have. All I know and all I know is that this altar carries power. And I speak not in my name, but I speak in the name of the one who sent me. That every plan, every purpose you have in your life shall come to pass. It shall come to pass.
praise the Lord, everyone. Let us come to our feet as we begin to open up the service in prayer. Praise the Lord. We're so grateful to be here tonight, and we're going to ask everyone that can stand, please stand as we go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. And we're going to be praying for our pastor first, and then uh, others are going to come behind me. So come on, put your hands together t tonight as we, we appreciate the Lord for his goodness and his kindness and his love and his generosity toward us. How he kept us all day, praise God, and he brought us here tonight. Praise the Lord. God has just been so good to us, and we are grateful uh, to be here tonight. I am grateful because of things that happened this week. God has kept me. Things that I faced and went through, I'm still standing. And so tonight, I'm here to tell him thank you. Come on, put your hands together and tell him thank you. If you, you face anything this week, you need to give God a hearty hallelujah, a thank you, Jesus, a praise the Lord. You need to let God know that you appreciate him from last Sunday, last Tuesday, Friday night until tonight. You need to let God know that you appreciate him. Come on, Father, tonight we thank you for our pastor, Dr. Badu, Lord God. We thank you for what you've done, what you're doing for the manservant, Father. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless him, God, and strengthen him, encourage him tonight, Father, in the name of you. God, let angels come and minister to him right now in the name of Jesus. God, put your hand together. Thank God for God, my Savior. God, ministering to our pastor. God, strengthening our pastor, speaking to his mind, speaking to his heart tonight father i thank you for that i thank you for god for how you're moving and you're breathing upon him i thank you tonight father how you have put a word in his heart for the people on tonight lord god you have equipped him already you have god you're breathing upon him and we know tonight when the prophet mounts the stage there's going to be a mighty move but god while we are waiting tonight we thank you right now we appreciate you right now we glorify you right now we say hallelujah to your name hallelujah glory to your name we magnify you we glorify you tonight we get put out our hands together we tell you thank you father thank you for the pastor thank you for his strength thank you for the joy of the lord tonight that will strengthen us father we just are my savior we appreciate you right now lord god we just ask you father to breathe on us tonight breathe on us father in a special way let the holy ghost lord god move in this house move through your man servant move upon your people lord god let no one leave the way they came but tonight let every need be met according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus tonight Lord God let every heart that delights itself in you let that heart be filled tonight in the name of Jesus God let no your word said God it's your pleasure to give good gifts to us tonight give us a good gift tonight meet at my take cut your pie me on the both side meet my name at the both seat meet that need tonight speak to someone in a supernatural way in the name of Jesus and we give you praise and glory oh hallelujah oh praise the Lord everybody in this place oh God we thank you Lord God Father God as we have come Lord God to ho our home Lord God as we have come to your church Lord God as we have come Lord God in reverence your holy name, Lord God. Lord God, hearken unto the pie of the people, Lord God. Father God, the word says, if we come before you, Lord God, and humble ourselves, Lord God, you will heal our land, Lord God. So tonight, Lord God, Father God, we're asking that you pull us from the snare of the fowler, Lord God. Free our spirits, Lord God. Deliver us, Lord God, from all unrighteousness, Lord God. Lord God, Lord God, we not only stand for ourselves, Lord God, but we stand 
you set us free, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you open up the floodgates, Lord God, and deliver, Lord God, us a blessing, Lord God, that we have room enough to receive, Lord God. And all of this, we thank you, Lord God, for the power that's on this altar. We thank you for the glory that's on this altar. And we thank you for the man of God that will lead us to a place, Lord God, a place, Lord God, where we are seeking, Lord God, to live, Lord God, in a land flowing with milk and honey. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Keep clapping those hands before the Lord. Aren't you a blessed people tonight? Yeah, when I think of the goodness and all he's done for me, Adadoshi, my soul cries out to the Lord. Come on and clap your hands before the Lord. We come to say thank you. As the woman of God was just praying, she said, Lord, heal the land. You are blessed people tonight. You're not one of those that had a heart attack this week. God, we thank you for sparing us tonight. You're not one of those that had a stroke this week. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We didn't have a seizure this week. We thank you, Lord. We wasn't in a car accident. We thank you, Lord, because of the covenant agreement on this altar. God's been good to us. Hey, my God, we didn't lose our terrible shire. We didn't lose our minds. And ain't up in the hospital of mental illness. But God, tonight we say thank you. You've been good to us, Lord. Oh, mind your shire. The enemy came up against us like a flood. But the spirit of the Lord lifted up a standard. Hey, God, terrible shire. So tonight, God, we clap our sanctifying hands. Uh, and we say thank you. You kept us uh, all week long. Uh, thank you for keeping us. Uh, thank you, God, uh, for raining on us. Uh, thank you, God, uh, for keeping the witches away. Uh, thank you, God, uh, for keeping away the warlocks. Uh, thank you, God, uh, for keeping away the demons and the devil. Uh, tonight, God, thank you. Uh, oh, my God. That I'm all shy. Uh, tonight, God, we thank you. You've been good to us. Uh, we clap our hands uh, because you've been good. Uh, we clap our hands. Uh, oh, God. Uh, because you kept our minds, we keep our hands. Clap our hands before you, Lord. When we think of what you've done for us, where you brought us from, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Oh, God, thank you for the love of God. Thank you tonight, God. Oh, Mama, she a day. God, you rain on us. You breathe on us. The breath of life. So tonight, God, thank you. Oh, God, we could have been like many others, but because of the covenant of you kept us, God, because of the covenant agreement on this altar. You kept us, you brought us through, God. So many could have been like those who lost their job, but you told the enemy to be still. So tonight, God, thank you for those who got a job. Thank you, God, for those that are going to get a job. Thank you tonight, God, for those who are healing their bodies, healing their mind, healing their spirit, man. Thank you tonight, God. Tonight, God, we thank you. Now, God, send a word tonight. A word, God, that we restore, we build, cast out, and bring that in your side, and bring down everything that's not like you tonight. So, God, send your word tonight through the vessel of God, through the man of honor. Tonight, God, we say thank you. And then you say, my, and we give you glory, and we give you praise, and we give you honor in this house. Oh, my God. Shame. Come on and clap those hands before the Lord. Set the atmosphere for the men of God. Don't make him do all the work tonight. But praise God for the men of God. Praise God for the men of God. Praise God for the men of God. Don't make him do all the work. When you set the atmosphere, you make it easier for the men of God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.
Praise the Lord, Rock Hill. Come on, praise the Lord, Rock Hill. Come on, praise the Lord, Rock Hill. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in our Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be blessed. This is your part. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Anybody come to exalt him tonight? Hallelujah. Anybody come to lift his name tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Come on, clap your hands right here. We come to lift up the name of Jesus, for there's no other name that is higher than his. Nobody greater, nobody stronger, nobody wiser. Hallelujah.
great in your life tonight. Said he has done. Said great things. Said he has done. Said bless his hope. Said bless his his holy holy name. That's it. Said he. wondrous things. He's done marvelous things in my life. He has done said great things. For the devil is defeated, we are 
shout glory. Come on, shout glory. Come on, shout glory. Come on, shout glory. We give you the glory. We give you the glory. Come on, y'all say, we give you the glory. 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 We give you the glory.
give you the glory. We give you the glory. Come on, right here. We give you the glory. We give you the glory. Say, hey, we give you the honor. 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 Then we give you the honor. 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 Then we give you the glory. We give you glory. give you glory we've come for no other reason rock hand rock hill come on and raise your hands lift up the name of jesus right now before we sing another song father we give you glory father we come to worship you father there is no one like you there is no one like you jesus you are the name above all names you are worthy of all Lift up a worship, lift up a praise, lift up a sound all over the room. We come for no other reason but to adore you. We've come for no other reason but to worship you. To worship you. To worship you. Hallelujah, 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 yeah. hallelujah, yeah. we see.
in the room, he's in the room, he's in the room, he's in the room. God, you're in the room, my shade. Our hearts cry. Be magnified in this your holy temple. Hey, God, we love you. In this your holy place, we will rise to Zion's heights. We praise and glorify.
Come on, Raquel, let's stand to our feet. Let's give the Lord a shout of praise in this place. 
He's worthy of glory. He's worthy of honor. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on and lift him in this place. Hallelujah, God, we thank you. We give you glory and we give you praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to our Father. Amen, amen. Welcome to the Rock Hill Church Destiny Arena, a place where believers are raised to discover purpose and possess the city gates. This is the home of winners, and you are welcome home. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. We follow the word of God, amen. And the word tells us to give honor to whom honor is due. And so tonight we give that honor to the one and only, the best papa on this side of the Mississippi, the lead shepherd, the pastor, the founder of this great church, this ministry, the Rock Hill Church, the one and only, Dr. Sonny Bardu. And to the first lady, the beautiful lady, the mother of this great church. Will you help me to honor the one and only Lady Annie Bardu? And to the first family, as you take your seats tonight, I want you to get ready for a mighty, mighty word. God has something in store for you tonight and you do not want to miss it, amen? Amen, amen. Just want to uh, remind everyone that on uh, Tuesday night is a night of deliverance and make sure that you invite and be here on Tuesday night. Friday night is our midnight prayer, amen, amen. Papa will handle, just wanna have, wanna give our uh, updates. Papa will handle all counseling sessions on Wednesday through Sunday from 5 p.m. to midnight. Any inquiries or questions, please, please visit or contact uh, the number 800-875-5775. That's 800-875-5775. And please remember everyone attending the night of deliverance service on Tuesday that you must fast. If possible, fasting times are from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. or 3 p.m. or 6 a.m. to 6 p.m but we must fast on Tuesday. Please remember, if there are any testimonies that you see Pastor Jackie or Pastor Sequonia, if you would raise, raise your hands, please, so that they can document your videos. Pastor Sequonia, if you would raise your hand. Anyone interested in advertising their business, uh, please contact Pastor Jackie. And the new Converse class will now be facilitated by Pastor Akaya and Pastor Alicia. So please, if you have any questions, please refer to Pastor Alicia and Pastor Akaya, if you would raise your hand. Pastor Lady J will be, uh, she is in charge of the baptism class. And on this Friday, August the 25th, Baptism service will be here starting at 8 p.m. Amen? And we need everyone to engage. Engage on social media. Share and invite all using all flyers, videos, advertisement, making sure that you're making comments on Papa's site, amen, on the church site, amen, because we want to spread the word of God, amen, because there's fire on this altar, and we want everyone to get a breakthrough, amen, 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 amen. So glory, glory, glory to God. And if you are a visitor, I want you to raise your hand tonight if you're visiting, amen. We want to make sure that you get a blue card, 
And please fill out that blue card because we want to make sure that you stay connected to all that is happening here at the Rock Hill Church. And if you would like to become a member, somebody say member, to become a part of the family, somebody say family, then we want you to fill out this red card tonight. Amen? Amen? And we will be having class on Thursday night. Amen? Amen. So please fill out this information. Don't miss out on any information. Amen. And get ready, get ready, get ready for the word tonight. Be blessed. Are you in need of a counselor to talk to? Do you feel you are under a serious spiritual attack? Are you having weird dreams or nightmares that has you unsettled? Do you feel you are under a spell? Do you need marriage counseling? Do you need a business advisor? Are you worried about your children? Is a loved one sick or have a terminal illness? Then it is time to contact Dr. Sonny Badu, a certified counselor with over 20 years experience. Dr. Badu is available to guide you through your counseling sessions and is totally confidential. He will help you and lead you to full restoration in your circumstance. Book an appointment by calling 1-800-875-5775. Here's the good news. Your counseling can be done virtually via Zoom from any part of the world or in person. Call now. It's baby dedication time and it's one of the most important moments in this church. Um, I am excited with what God is doing in this church and I'd like the family of Anthony and Sierra Austin, please join us on stage. And all the pastors, please join us on stage. Apostle, please come join us on stage. Please hand the baby over to Pastor Dr. Mo and let the family join us on stage. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Here at the Rock Hill Church, we take child dedication or baby dedication extremely serious as we believe that the spiritual foundation you lay down for a child determines how high they will go in life. And at Rock Hill Church, we walk through with the parents of the child from conception to delivery. During conception, during pregnancy, the senior pastor prays over the child, even in the mother's belly, as destiny starts from the womb. And with this beautiful family, um, it's been a privilege to walk the journey with them um, right from conception to delivery it started from a counseling session not knowing the baby was already in there <laughs> and um, by the grace of God baby Aaron Jerome Austin is here please help me to celebrate God
Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very special day for the family. And as a senior pastor of this amazing assembly, my duty is to task and mandate the parents and the church because once a child is born here, the child is not just the responsibility of the parents, but it's also the responsibility of the church. So my duty and role is to task. You can clap over there. is to mandate the church and the parents on their duties and role concerning this child. It's very important here what name you give to your child. Matter of fact, before dedication, we have to scrutinize what name, what inspired you. And if the name has to be changed, it will be changed because your name has everything to do with where you're going in life. And so when the baby was born, we asked, inquired, and we certified the name Aaron Jerome. Austin, please help me to celebrate God. <laughs> Anthony, I'm glad you're in the life of your son because here in America, it's difficult, it's difficult for men to be in the lives of their children. Your life changes because of your children. And no matter what life challenges you with, never turn your back on your children. Never. You are responsible for these seeds. And I say this, God will judge us according to what we did and invested in their lives. And thank God that you are a good man. And I am very proud of you. Sierra, you play a major role here as you carried this baby for nine months. And for nine months, you fed the baby through your umbilical cord and i'm glad that throughout all this period we were constantly communicating praying with you anointing the baby now this question is to the mother and the father anthony and sierra are you willing to raise baby jerome in the ways and the ordinances of the lord are you willing to plant inside of this beautiful baby the word of god the fear of god and are you willing to teach the baby the ways of the lord if you are willing to do this please say yes we are willing yes we are willing yes yes we are. good please celebrate them now church Baby Jerome is not just their responsibility. He is our responsibility too. In, in other words, if you see anything happening to baby Jerome and mommy is not there, you are the mother to take charge. You are the father to take charge. And so church, are we willing to help the parents to take care of baby Jerome in the ways and ordinances of God? If we are, let us say yes, we are willing. Now, Dr. Moore, please bring the baby forward. Apostle, please stand by me. As the baby has now entered this earth, here at Rock Hill, we are to introduce the baby to three different tokens. Water, honey, and salt. Water spiritually represents life. Honey represents wisdom and sweetness, and salt represents preservation. These are spiritual tokens that we pronounce over you, that in your life, your life will always give other li others life. And no matter what life throws at you, wisdom will walk you through Every word that comes out of your mouth shall be sweetness and not bitterness. 
and the oil of preservation shall locate you so church i want you to stretch your hands on the baby aaron jerome austin you were conceived on this altar and today we bring you back to this altar to dedicate you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Today, the 20th of August, 2023, I present water to you, Aaron. There shall be no dryness in your life. There shall be no deserts in your life. Amen. Any deserts that your grandfather, great-grandfather, your fathers experienced, it shall not come near where you're dwelling. Amen. Even in deserts, you shall find water. Amen. Even in deserts, you shall find wells. Amen. Out of you, Aaron, many will drink from your well Amen. today as the senior pastor of this church i give you honey honey represents sweetness honey represents wisdom today i release wisdom unto you today I release God's wisdom unto you. Today, when you speak, even into a bitter situation, it shall become good. Amen. Aaron, you shall become a prophet. Amen. You shall become a priest. Amen. From the tribe of Levi, you shall become a worshiper. The anointing of God shall be so strong on you. Aaron, I present salt to you. May your destiny be preserved. May your life be preserved. No terminal illness shall come near your dwelling. No disability shall come near your dwelling. Allah sobrados Levili babrosta abrago pe te pa ustus rapa akopa sike pa le rikostapo otaya. Any curse that was transferred in the womb through bloodline, I take you out in the name of Jesus. Aaron, I present the blood of Jesus. The blood of the lamb and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimony Aaron the blood will always speak for you the blood will always speak for you the blood of Jesus will always speak for you in days and times you cannot speak let the blood speak mercy let the blood speak mercy on your behalf. Amen. Today I anoint you, Aaron. Have the oil. I anoint you with the oil of dominion. From today, you will walk in dominion. From today, you shall become great. Amen. Greater than your grandfather. Amen. Greater than your father. Amen. Greater than your grandfather. Amen. Greater than your father. Amen. Aaron, you are anointed from today. Amen. Not just you, but your entire brother. Take wisdom. Amen. Take wisdom 
Oh, Jesus. It's not, it's not your party. I'm only inviting you here. Give it to him. Give it to her. Let her take it. Take wisdom and take the blood of the Lamb. Today, not just Aaron, I dedicate the entire children, every seed that has come out of you, Anthony, I dedicate them all in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Your house shall be a house of testimony. As God has started a good thing in your house, He is faithful and just to complete it. Today, Aaron, we present you to this altar. You shall be a good child. You shall be intelligent. Amen. You shall grow from grace to grace. Amen. From glory to glory and from honor to honor. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. No man born of a woman will bring you down. Amen. No man born of a woman can bring you down. Amen. I speak over you as a prophet. Every time we will hear from you. It shall be good news unending. I dedicate you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. Apostle, take the baby and hand the baby over to mommy. You have played a great role in their life. Congratulations, Apostle. God bless you. Here at Rock Hill, we give tokens and gifts. And we give a Bible. Mother, you will be spending a lot of time with the baby. Please, make sure you read scriptures to the baby every single day. You might think they don't hear it. But believe you me, they hear. He talks back, that's an old man right here. Read the Bible. Read the word of God to him. This one is a priest and a prophet. Daddy, I give you the certificate of the baby as your official dedication. Ladies and gentlemen, help me to celebrate the Alston family. God bless you. Please take your seat. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. God bless you. Amen. It's a beautiful thing to have your leader give you back to the Father. Amen. And speak a blessing over you. It's also a blessing to enter a house where you consistently are in the presence of the Lord. I don't know about you. I can only speak for myself. But my press is to get here just to experience his presence one more time. It's one thing experiencing it at home on your own, your own space. But corporately, when we all worship together and the glory cloud rests, is something different about the oil at Rock Hill. Amen. Lord, I thirst for you. And I long to be in your presence. My soul will wait on you father draw me nearer draw me nearer to the beauty of your holiness i will wait on you 
almighty God in the beauty of your holiness I will wait on you almighty God in the beauty of your holiness yes Lord I thirst for you anybody long for him tonight and I long to be in your presence my soul will wait on you father draw me nearer draw me nearer to the beauty of your holiness i will wait on you in the beauty of your holiness I will wait on you almighty God in the beauty of your holiness yes Lord Find everything I need in your presence. I know what it's like to be in the presence of the Lord and not know what time is because time stood still and bodies are healed and families restored
Jesus, I want more. So, Lord, stay. I don't want you to go.
this place go and let them come back in. Something is here. The presence of God is here. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God. You are awesome in this place. I'm a father. You are worthy. You are awesome in this place. Blessed are short. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a full day of glory divine. I hear you. I hear you, I hear you. Heroes, salvation, virtues of love, born of a spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Come on, sing it. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my song. Praising when peace like a reed my when so.
is happening here. Chains are breaking loose. Generational curses are breaking. Somebody scream! The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they us. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are 71 angels in the building. Breaking chains and setting people free. As you're shouting, your angel is making his way to you. Shout! limitations are broken tonight. Household limitations are broken tonight. Somebody shout! Have a 
church through it all. Can we have a church? I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Everybody say through it all. Somebody's hands. Hold your neighbor's hands. Hold your neighbor's hands. And sing it. I just can't give up. Tell the sister, tell the brother. Come to far from way. Nobody tell me. Somebody, I just can't give up now. I just can't get Come too far, come too far from where I started. Nobody told me that the road will be and I, and I don't believe. He will not leave you to be good. Double. Hey. He will not leave you. How about that? He will not leave you to be good. He will not leave you. How about that? He will not leave you. How about that? He will not leave you. Tell somebody. He will not leave you. We will not leave. We will not leave. We will not leave. He is bigger than your problems, bigger than your troubles, bigger than the ocean, bigger than the mountains. He will not leave. Jungle, a jungle. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. The reason why you have not experienced a miracle yet is simply because you're looking up to man. Yet man will always fail you. That's why God has stepped aside until you tell him the battle is yours. For God takes all the glory for himself. He shares the glory with no man. I see 200 victorious people scream in victory. Please do me a favor. Please do me a favor. I know we have the tagline of the church that finishes late. But please, when they say that church that finishes late, just tell them when God let, sets in, no one stops here. That's why we finish late. 
because we are sensitive to let God have his way. Almost 15 minutes gone and it's not my fault. I saw angels healing and I couldn't stop them. If this is all that happened tonight, then my job is done. For I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house. The problem, I always say, that the church is like a hospital. But the problem is, patients are impatient in this kind of hospital. Tonight is a good night. Elder Arthur, let me have that money. Let me have that. Elder, let me have that. Oh Lord. him standing right here. A few days ago, that was him. Today, he said, Papa, I couldn't miss church today. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy roar and thy stuff, they comfort me. Thou preparing a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup. Surely, what the enemy planned for evil, God will turn for good. Oh. Very good evening to everyone that's watching online. Welcome to the greatest church 
in their entire universe. The Rock Hill Church, ladies and gentlemen, help me to celebrate everybody watching the line. I'd like to stretch an arm of welcome and welcome all our E-Church members watching from all over the world. I see some driving, some all over joining the service. We are welcome. We love you, Lady Zaney. I see you. I love you, Rahima. I'm on my way to Canada. Gather everybody. Please celebrate all our E-Church members. And please help me to celebrate yourself. Tell them it's gonna be a good, good, good service. Come on, come on, tell them. I have a feeling God has a word for me tonight. And I thank God I did not miss my word. Come on, I didn't, I thank God I did not miss my word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is subject to the prophet of the house. And so I choose to zero in because with what's happening in the realms of the Spirit, I might end up closing at 3 a.m. And tonight is not a Tuesday night. I need to go home. <laughs> what is Tuesday doing here? But God can disrupt your service anytime. Oh, I feel the presence of God. When you see people happy, when you see people liberated, it is a sign that the presence of God is here. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Let us go straight to the word of God. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. New International Version, Contemporary English Version, and Good News Translation. I'm going to read from these versions. New International, NIV, Contemporary English Version, and Good News Version. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. And New International Version. And God said, and God said, let there be light. Please, let's read it together. One, two, three. And God said, let there be light. And light has no choice. Elements had no choice than to birth forth at the command of the master. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Let's go to contemporary English version. I don't know if you have it here. But if you don't let me know so I can read it. Do you have it? And I, we've done the Okay, thank you very much. And God said. Now the contemporary English version says. God said. I command light to shine. And light started shining. God said. I command light to shine. And light started shining good news translation says then God commanded let there be light and light appeared then God commanded let there be light and light appeared let's look at Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 28 King James Version and God said, follow this, and God said, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let us, let them have dominion over the fish uh, of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon Lord breathe through me as I breathe on your children let there be healing let there be understanding let there be deliverance that's why we've wasted our time to be here but Lord let every second be worth it 
let every second be life transforming let the every second be life turning around let the one who shouts amen three times be the first to leave here with the breakthrough please be seated i am excited about the menu for tonight the menu tonight is titled i am a commander i am pastor actually stay with me a commander and please turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor neighbor please treat me well because i am a commander and if this is your first time here please forgive me we have crazy people here who are out of their mind i'm doing all i can to discipline them but the more i try it the more i fail so please forgive me if you see people like lady j screaming and jumping on her chair i've tried every medication for her and these holy ghost pills i've been feeding her with is not working pastor shirley's not here she'll be breaking the altar soon but every time pastor shirley's not here there's another person who's hitting the altar from that direction so i've realized she's left her spirit of violence on that side aha i just said it please beware of crazy people it's not my fault it's just that the joy of the lord is our strength we cannot help it we cannot contain it we just know that our redeemer lives and because he lives we can face tomorrow Please clap your hands and give God praise. I am a commander. I am a commander. I enjoyed last week. I am heaven. It started trending all over social media. Those who have been posting it on your post may god give you seven thousand dollars those who did not post it i don't know what to say to you as you post it may you also receive your seven thousand dollars it might sound funny but prophetic words are powerful and you never know who you are being the blessing to I am heaven. I am heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. And if the king comes, he dwelleth in me. I'm going to split this session tonight into two different sessions. Do a bit of science as usual. And then we'll do a bit of English. Comprehensions. And then spirituality. Don't miss every line because I might not repeat it twice. You've got to catch it. God told Moses, when you see me pass once, in other words, you've got to remain focused. So nursing mothers, if kids are crying, hold their mouth and tell them I can't miss it. I'm just kidding. I am a commander now let us look at what dna is dna is based on this last scripture read genesis chapter 26 verse chapter 1 verse 26 to 28 put it on the screen i want you to understand what god meant when he said let us create man in our own image and likeness so let's look at d and a now in biochemistry which biochemistry is the branch of science concerned with 
the chemical, physiochemical process and substance that occur within living organisms. So when you hear biochemistry, it's another part of science which is concerned about the chemical and physiochemical process and substances that occur within living organism. DNA in biochemistry simply stands for dioxide ribonucleic acid. Somebody said, my God. Dioxide ribonucleic acid, DNA. And DNA is a self-replicating material. DNA, dioxide ribonucleic acid is a self replicating material which is present in nearly all living organisms as the main constituent of chromosomes dna is a self please remember this self replicating material which is present in nearly all living organisms as the main constituent of chromosomes it is the career of genetic information so dna is the career of genetic informations now in biochemistry when you hear chromosomes chromosomes are a thread-like structure of nucleic acid and protein found in the nucleus of most living cells i'll break it down carrying genetic information in the form of genes so when you hear chromosomes in biochemistry all science students know what i'm talking about but i'll break it down to ordinary people so chromosomes in science is a thread-like structure of nucleic acid, dioxide, ribonucleic, ribonucleic acid. So chromosomes is a thread-like structure of nucleic acids and proteins found in the nucleus of most living cells carrying genetic information in the form of genes. Now, when it comes to chromosomes, there are two types of chromosomes in the human body. In human beings, there are two types of chromosomes. And the first type is autosome. A-U-T-O-S-O-M-E-S. -E autosomes. Which has to do with body chromosomes. And allosomes, which has to do with sex chromosomes okay now perhaps how i'm pronouncing it might be different from how you pronounce it uh, but please follow me so in the human body there are two types of chromosomes and it's called autosomes like automatic it's autosomes and which has to be with do with the body structure and allosomes which has to be do with the sexual structure sexual structure certain genetic traits are linked to a person's sex and are passed on through sex chromosomes now the autosomes contains the rest of the genetic hereditary information for example i'm left-handed but none of my five children are left-handed I'm left-legged I'm literally a south pole to the T left-handed left leg when I was playing soccer I'll play with my left but none of my children fell on my side they went to their mother's side and this is called autosomes so they adapted the autosomical part of their mother perhaps one took the shape of my big African nose one probably took my teeth structure. One took the shape of my chinky 
Chinese eyes. But whichever way that is called autosomes, when you adopt the bodily parts of your parent. Please follow me. I know some of you don't understand. Now that I've done chromosomes, allosomes, and autosomes, I want us to now go to the English class and look at what commanding means. The dictionary breaks commanding down as given an authoritative order. So once command comes in, it means one who gives an authoritative order. Now, when it says authoritative, the word authority comes in. When authority comes in, it simply means, or when you hear authoritative, it simply means the power of the right to give orders. So when we say somebody is authoritative, in other words, he has the power of the right to give orders. When somebody is authoritative, it means he has the power of the right to make decisions. When somebody is authoritative, it simply means he has the power and the right to enforce obedience. Follow me. So when you hear commanding, it means one who is authoritative. When you want to go in depth to understand what authoritative means, it simply means one who has the right or the power to give orders and everybody listens. One who has the power to make decisions. And everybody listens. One who has the power and the right to enforce obedience. And everybody listens. Now, I want us to also look at... See, I'm breaking it down. So we're understanding what authoritative means. One who has the power to make decisions. One to have the power to make or give orders, right? Now, let us also look at what enforcing means enforcing it simply means to compel observance or compliance with a law a rule or obligation so when somebody is enforcing something in other words he's compelling you to comply with the law so 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 when it comes to one who is in command it simply means that when he gives that instruction or when she gives that instruction, everybody is susceptible to listen to that instruction. When one is in authority, no one can overrule that authority. When a president is in power and he writes a law, no matter who you are, no matter what your opinion is, whatever this president has signed, that is what goes on until he leaves the office. Are we all on the same page? When a king gives a rule or gives a law, nobody breaks that law until the king dies. Remember that presidents only reign or rule for a certain amount of years but kings don't do that. Now, let me use myself as an example. When you see me live on stage with my team, we sit down, the first line of com or the second line of command is Pastor Achi. He sits down with me in my privacy and his job is to capture everything I see. So when we hit the stage and everybody's jumping, I look at him and give him a command and he has to give everybody a command. Let me break it down for you to understand even better. Whoever sits on this particular seat amongst these minstrels is the music director for the day, called an MD for the day. He is the one that tells everybody 
where to go. So if Pastor Edwina forgets her line of song, he has to tell everybody, stay with Pastor Edwina or let's change it. And no matter whatever you're playing here, you are bound to listen to him because he is the commander. Once he sits on the throne, he tells what everybody do does and where everybody goes. So you saw Pastor Tamika while she was singing. She didn't look here. She didn't look there. She looked right here. In other words, she gives the first, please close the nursery door. She gives the first signal and he tells the one in the drum. So some of you who wonder why they have headsets in their ear and why perhaps there's a microphone, it's not that he's holding the mic to sing. He's holding the microphone to speak. So in their headsets, they can hear each other. So some of you might think he's singing. No, he's not singing. He's telling the drum, don't play here. Leave it for me to play. Why? He's the music director, MD. He is the commander in charge in that moment. Is somebody working with me? Please walk with me. And so one of the qualities of leadership is leaders must take charge and command. Leaders must take charge and command. Or let me get into a marital home. Men or husbands must take charge and command the home. The role of the man is to command. But you cannot command when you're not hearing from God or you're not submitting to God. So if you want to command your home, then you must be submissive to God because women only listen to you when they see you submitted to God. Is somebody reading it right? So if you want a woman to submit totally to you, let her see your submission to God. And women, if you want your children to submit to you, let your children also submit to, see you submitted to your husband. You cannot cross or override what God has ordained. Is somebody following this? Now, every child has a a dioxide ribonucleic acid of either their mother, their father, but their chromosomes and autosomes, or allosomes and autosomes could be determined by their mothers or their fathers. So whoever, or even you sitting here, you probably have more autosomes of your mother than your father, body parts. So a young lady can look like the dad, and if your father has strong male features, you might look like a man. That's why, let me give this con most controversial statement that a preacher would ever give, but there's nothing wrong with women sometimes wanting to fix certain parts of their body. I know it's going to be controversial, but I speak in the wisdom of God. Why? Based on autosomes, you might take certain <laughs> back shape of your father which is too manly to be attracted to a woman. So it has nothing to do with your sinning. It is to, that's why God gives medical doctors wisdom on what to do to fix it right. Because if the genetic order of the man is so strong, then the child will adapt everything of their father. So, certain women who feel that they don't have that much front side uh, or that much behind, I'm not, I didn't say it, Lady J said it. There is nothing wrong with you feeling that I need to change it here because based on autosomes, you could have adapted what your father gave you. And in order to attract a man, you don't need that thing that your father had. You need to adapt what attracted your father on your mother. Hallelujah. I hope I didn't sin too much. 
but I brought sanity to the house of the Lord because religion makes you look like a sinner. <laughs> That's why medical doctors are in place. If you have the size or the eating habits of your father, you will become obese. There's nothing wrong in trying to... I didn't say it. Is somebody hearing me? Please, I, I, there are a lot of, so many questions that religion has changed that by the wisdom of God, it has to be put right. If you feel you have big, thick lips like your dad, and it doesn't look like your mother, fix it. What did Lady J say? Suck it in. I didn't say that. I heard those words from Lady J. If you can afford it, yes, why not? It gives you self-confidence. There's nothing wrong with it. Please hear me. I know religion say you are doing what God has. No, God leaves you the man to find a wife. That is why if the husband is short, the son will end up being short. The only thing that we don't have medical uh, res resolution for is heights. <laughs> Heights is the only thing the medical resolution cannot resolve. But if the medical world finds a, a resolution for heights, trust me, a lot of short men will become tall overnight. Because short men can be intim feel intimidated in life. But you being short is not how God created you. It has everything to do with your father's autosomes and allosomes. Now the Bible says to us that God makes mankind in his own image and his own likeness. And the moment he made you in his own image and likeness. Remember that last week we said God dwells where? Where? Now does God find you capable to inhabit him because you are his own? I cannot jump into a bottle. So God cannot jump into an animal. Because animals don't speak. But God creates you in his own image so he can jump into you and feel you. And then he gives you dominion. The moment he creates you in his own image, Adam, he gives Adam dominion to subdue the entire earth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this simply means that God transferred his dioxide ribonucleic acid, DNA, inside of you. Please walk with me. This means... That God saying, let us create, put that scripture, let us create man in our own image and likeness, simply means that this God, tetragrammaton, omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent God, he is everything uh, and everything is him. He now puts his DNA, DNA inside of you. Somebody tell somebody, I got God's DNA. Now, can I fix this? Can I fix this? The next question is that we say that I am carrying the presence of God. Or, or is God going to occupy my body? You know, greater is he that lives in you. That's what the scriptures say. So the next question is, is God going to occupy my, my, my body? And, and looking at the sizes of people, um, it was, where's Elder Ernie? Um, What's he doing outside? Okay, Elder Ernie, come. <laughs> um, son, come. <laughs> Why me? Oliver Twist. Now, so God takes lives dwells within you right that's what the scriptures say so how does this make sense that god can what minimize himself and come into this this <laughs> this 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 great man right and then god can e expand himself right it, it's a bit 
contradictory, like this doesn't make God. I know he's ever present, he can be everywhere, but God, does it mean that you you expand and 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 reduce your sizes per humanity uh, uh, and and fit into people? Uh, that's most of the question and that's why we don't have in-depth understanding of this scripture that greater is he that lives in you you know so is he living in this size um, um elder mcgregory come over <laughs> god is amazing he creates everybody in different sizes <laughs> three different sizes so 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 god do you expand and, and in length and width and then you now reduce yourself because maybe you had a bit of lemon or oh. or, or, or apple cider oh. <laughs> and then fit right here am i making sense and then now you move here and expand here because the scripture says greater is he that lives in so so my my immediate understanding is that my come over here and you come, Quickly, come son, hurry up. You come stand here. Different dynamics of human beings. Different sizes. So God, in, in a service with all of us here, how do you expand and reduce? Expand, expand, and perhaps reduce. At least I'm better than him. <laughs> right? How do you do that? Uh, so do you come here with a tape measure? Do you come to a uh, rock your church with a tape measure and then angels will tell you size 45 and then he, he comes down and fill? Right? No. God doesn't live in our bodies. I'm sorry. I said he lives in us last week. I'm sorry. He doesn't live in your bodies. So where does God live? If he doesn't live in me, greater is he that liveth. Where does God live? Ladies and gentlemen, God lives in the mind. He's too, he's too big to come in you. He's too big to come. If God decides to come in your body, you will explode. So the only space God can occupy that doesn't bring explosion is so when the Bible says greater is he that lives in me what the Bible is saying is God lives in the that is why your mind space is the most powerful place and that is why the devil is after your mind And so creativity doesn't start with the body. Creativity starts from the mind. Innovation starts from the mind. Discovery starts from the mind. Invention starts from the mind. It's a piece of God. God puts, puts a piece of himself in your mind. So it's not, it's not the size of the medical doctor that proves that you'll be healed. But it is the mind of the medical doctor that proves that he can heal you. You could have a sickness and a medical doctor will come up and wouldn't be able. It's not the size that delivers you. It is that which God has endowed on him. So God doesn't live in this body. God lives here. Tonight, whatever has occupied your mind that is not given God the permission to live and have his way in your mind for you to create, innovate, and invent, let that be wiped out by the blood of the Lamb. Somebody lay your hands on your head and say, Spirit of the living God, come and live in my mind. Shush. It's not the body, it's not the size. That's why a little man 
on the soccer field like Messi, who is probably five foot one, the mind he carries, what you don't understand, that Messi brings joy to people. The soccer star brings healing to people. Some people's source of healing is sports. So God creates people with a different dimension of the mind, irrespective of their size, to bring magic to the game so that people will be healed. There are taller people, people who are taller than LeBron James, but don't have the mind of LeBron James. Pertaining your field, God gives you a stature and a mind. So God doesn't live in your body. God lives in, come on, preacher of me. So everything doctors do is just the mind of God. Now, oh Holy Spirit, thank you. Hear me. Understanding what command means is very vital. Someone who carries authority. I've checked the Bible. I've checked the Bible thoroughly, thoroughly. And there's no place God gave a command that nobody or somebody said, oh no, I'm doing it my own way. Every time God says, let there be, even a dead son responds to the command of God. When God says, let there be light, I don't know how elements come together, but something hits something, something flashes on something, and light comes forth. Hmm. Now hear me. I have discovered, ladies and gentlemen, that there is a big difference between commanding and asking. There is, follow me, a big difference between commanding and asking. When you are in charge and you know you are in charge, you command, you don't ask. <laughs> oh, those people who I feel here in the word of God, something is switching in your destiny. When you are in charge, you command. You don't ask. <laughs> if something... Okay. Have my Rolex watch. Now, uh, don't say thank you. Now, if I want it back, all I'll say is, Deaconess, can I have my watch back? I can choose to be, to say please, but I gave, I gave, she's put it on her hands. May you never miss your destiny time. I can choose to say, can I please have right but I gave it to her I gave it to her right so I don't need to say please can I have it back thank you I commanded her I didn't ask her when I ask her or if ask comes in it's that which belongs to her so can I please borrow when you ask your borrowing can I please borrow your watch? That's asking. I cannot look at that which belongs to her and command her to bring it. So that's her watch, right? <laughs> I dare not say, 
or she dares not tell me okay no let's do it the other way around so i have my rolex on now you wanna you wanna have the feel of it okay let's hear how you ask for it can i borrow your rolex you want to borrow <laughs> what you want to borrow my role you know how she changed her voice can i borrow your word so i'm actually touched by her humility now, what do you want to borrow it for feel of what it is to wear a Rolex. Uh, how long do you want to borrow it for? About a month. Wait, two years. Okay, no problem. You know, she was humble in her petition. You know, Papa, can I borrow it? Okay, now command it. Command me to give you the word. Can I? So, f f uh, script number two. You you want it, so now command. Can I have your script? Let me have your legs. Let me have it. No, that's a command. Let me have it. I can work with that. Is it for you? For you to ask me let me have it on what grounds for what reason should i give you my watch it's not yours so you can't command for it you can only ask for it do we all agree that i've discovered a big problem please be seated when it comes to destiny fulfillment i've discovered a big problem are you ready for this are you ready for this if you lose this you've missed the whole service until you command the devil you're wasting your time oh you missed it i knew you until you exercise authority you're wasting your time hear me the reason why the devil is still holding on to what belongs to you is simply because he is used to the voice of command and not to the voice of asking oh you, you, are you, you did you just get it he is used to God the one who commands and not the one who is asking so if God lives in you and you are asking the devil he sees you as a coward the reason why heavens has not released your miracle the reason why you are still struggling is because the enemy that is holding on to your miracle is used to a command hey give it back now shut your mouth now leave this place now by the power of that which dwells in me I command you to come out hear me ladies and gentlemen the devil is not afraid of your petition the devil is not afraid of your gentleness he is afraid of your command your command makes him know that you know the God that dwells in you your command makes him identify you to know that you have the DNA. Oh my God. Oh my God. Your command gives him an idea that you have the autosomes and the allosomes of the one who created you in his own image and his own likeness. Your command lets him identify that you are Christ-like. 
stop asking the devil for what he's stolen from you. You better girdle your pelts, sit up, and tell the devil tonight, one of us is going down, and it will sure not be me. Oh my God, I see commanders here. I see an army of God ready to command the enemy to give back what the devil stole from you. I see that he lives in you. And because he lives in you, because he lives in you, power and might, power and might. That's why death and life is in the power of the tongue. So when you speak in the name of Jesus, when you speak with authority, you dismantle, you disable the plans and the weapons of the enemy. When the doctor gives you a bad report, tell the doctor you made a big lie. I command healing now. I command healing now. The doctor says you have cancer. You tell him you're reading the wrong report. That's not my report. I command healing now. Lumps in the breast. You better make your way out before I embarrass you tonight. Tumor in my head. You better pack your bags and go. I command you. I command you. I command you. I command you, I command you. I've never seen in the world anywhere that God asked, Earth, can you give me crops? Earth, can you give me plants? Earth, can you give me seeds? God said, let them, let them. God spoke with authority. God spoke with power. God spoke it with might. And if this God lives in you, if this tetragrammaton, the omniscient God, omnipotent lives in your mind, then you better command wealth. Command money. 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 Locate me now. And God created man from the dust of the ground and God breathed into man the breath of God and man became a living being tonight everything anything dead inside you I command I command I command I command life from your dead body when Jesus got to the tomb where Lazarus was he didn't say Lazarus please can you come out please don't die it's three days don't die he said Lazarus come forth Lazarus come forth when they tell you your kidneys have failed lay hands on those kidneys and tell those kidneys kidneys come forth kidneys the one who gave life lives in me every organ inside of me that has lost touch receive the hand of God I command, I command, I command, I command. Sometimes you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and blow onto yourself in the mirror. Lay your hands on yourself on the mirror. After you've been fired from that job, and Papa Badu is not picking up your phone because I got my own stress. Go into your bathroom, lay your hands on your 
Put the reports down and God breathed into the nostrils of man, the dead man. So if that situation is dead, put it on the altar. Breathe life. Breathe life. Command life. Take that same doctor's report. Take that same bad news and turn it into good news. You've got the power to turn everything around. Devil, hear me. Witches, hear me. Satan, hear me. I now know that I am a commander. And so that healing that you've stolen from me for the past 10 years, I command you to give it back. Ah, you're not hearing me. My deliverance you robbed me from. I now know that you are the illegal owner. Generational altars, strongholds, evil altars. Whatever you are planted on that altar, I have power to command you to give back to me what belongs to me. Whatever you stole from my mama, whatever you stole from my father, if you took the destinies of the women, I command you to give it back. Not to me, not just to me, but remember Keisha, remember Shakira, remember Shanda, Remember Rochelle, remember every woman. I'm not just setting myself free. I command you to lose every woman, all 15 cousins who have been barren. I command you to give the baby back. You have three days, 15 hours, 10 minutes, five seconds. If you don't bring it back, I will bring a host of angels to destroy your come and they overcame him by the blood and they and they did you hear that have you forgotten that and they this time it will be and we overcame you what do you mean we I'm coming with the Trinity. I'm coming with thousands of angels. You wouldn't like me after I'm through with you. You got my mama so easy. You got my father so easy. But as for me and my house, I got something for you. I will finish you. I will break your teeth. I will bite your nose. I will cut your ears. You see what Mike Tyson did to Evander Holyfield is just a little fraction of what I'm capable of doing. I will knock you out. You will never recover. Devil! Devil! I command you, loose me. Loose me. Loose me. Loose me. Loose me. I'm counting down. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, five, four. You don't want to hear the tongues I'm about to speak. I told the angels to hold on a second because I got this. They asked me if I was sure and I told them I got this. But if you don't want this quiet, I'm going to command the angels to come after you. The same angels that move with Michael, not the ones who move with Gabriel, not the ones who move with Raphael. Gabriel is a messenger. Raphael is a healer. 
you are stronger than them but michael is a fighter he is the one i'm coming with devil you are a big fool devil your grandmama is a fool you better lose my marriage you better lose my healing high blood pressure leave my life low blood pressure leave my life poverty leave my life struggle leave my life disability leave my life I command, I command, I command, I command you, release my wedding ring, you better vomit it out, wherever you swallowed it at, bring it out now, you took my joy, you better bring my joy back, before I smash you by the power of the plan. Devil, the blood is against you. Devil, the blood is against you. I command you, I command you, every door of good news that you have locked, I command, I command, that good news to open for me. Hey, 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 devil, I got the Holy Ghost fire. Devil, I got the Holy Ghost fire. Help that woman over there. I command, I command, I command generational curses to disappear. Somebody open your mouth. Begin to command, 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 command your money. Command your house. Command your marriage. Command your business. Command your job. Command your car. Command your wife. Command your husband. Devil, enough! says I can do all things through Christ I can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthened me devil I know you know the scripture devil I know you know the Bible for the other day you were quoting the Bible to Jesus you said it is written let me remind you that the Bible said I can do uh, all things. Uh, I can do all things. Not some things, not a few things, uh, but all things. Uh, all things, uh, including resurrecting the dead. For whatever I see Jesus do, I can do it. I see Jesus uh, walk on water. Can walk on my challenge and nothing will happen to me. I've seen Jesus lay in the storm. Whilst the storm is blowing, he's asleep. So when the storm below's roll, all I gotta do is sleep. I've seen Jesus bring money from the mouth of the fish. I've seen Jesus turn water to wine. I've seen Jesus turn five loaves of bread and fed 5,000 people. Greater is he that lives in me. I can do
to leave my son. Devil, I command you to leave my daughter. Devil, I command you to leave my children, which is from my father's house, which is from my mother's house. I command You better take your filthy hands. You better take your hands off. Can I get a high heel? This is too good. I need a high heel. Thank you, Mrs. Badu. Devil, I picked my wife's shoes. My shoe ain't working. I will knock you out. If you don't leave this, I will knock you out. Devil! They shoot too. Oh, you don't want to play with this woman. You see how it's glittering? You better release it now before we splash your face with some crazy glitters. I need some more shoes. I'm changing destinies here. It doesn't make sense, right? It makes sense in the spirit. These are weapons out of mass destruction. Slow down on me. Don't mess me up. I'm not your enemy. But throw it on the altar. You better finish the devil. Women. <laughs> throw them. It's a spiritual exercise. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Give me back my house. Give me back my marriage. Give me back my husband. Give me back the mind of my son. Autism. Any child going through autism. Today, in the name of Jesus, I command autism to disappear. It's a command. It's not a petition. Anyone struggling to get a job tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I feel God here. I feel God here. I feel God here. Look for a job. Your job is waiting for you. I command, I command your job to come forth. I command, I command, I command your value, your value. Some of you have lost value tonight on this altar. You will be re-evaluated. You will discover your real identity. Hey! Hey! You better scream like the day of the wall of Jericho on the seventh one. They screamed and the walls of Jericho came down. As you shout, the walls of that sickness, the walls of that curse, the walls of poverty, as you are shouting, it's coming down. It's coming down. As you are shouting, angels are moving. Something is shifting. Something is changing. Devil! 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 You got my mama so smart, but you're not getting me. I know the word of God. I can speak in tongues. Radabaska, Remi Ampara, Robodorosto, Rikapa, Zemina Nanatoha, Bregiatoha, Lemandarara, Rabatoska, Zimana Nanana, Rimina. As I lay my hands on my belly, my baby is coming. My baby is coming. As I put my hands on my bank account, money. 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 Go ahead and blow the horn. Blow the sofa. Blow the sofa. 
Blow the chauffeur. Blow the chauffeur. Devil, I announce a battle between you and I. You better call me commander. Devil, I'm gonna assassinate your entire camp. Keep blowing the horn. Keep blowing the horn. As you're blowing, I hear healing. As you're blowing, I hear deliverance. Begin to pray somebody. Begin to change your destiny. You are a commander. Greater is he. Me. It's mine. It's mine. If you want it, you can have it. If you don't need it, you can have it. It's yours. It's yours. Take it back. Take your house. You refuse to be a tenant. You are a landlord. Mighty men, arise! Mighty women, arise! 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 Ah! I command! I am a commander! Call me Commander General. It's 
What can wash away my sin? What can make me all again? Take it again. What can wash away my sin? What can make me all You're clapping. Everything they stole from you. As you're clapping, you're taking your healing back. The louder you clap, the bigger your testimony. There's no one like Jehovah. 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 
Jesus name so sweet Emmanuel name so sweet Jesus name so sweet Emmanuel name so sweet I got my mind made that I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus Because I want to see my Jesus someday. Somebody say, I go by word. You say, I stay no longer with you. I go by pleasure of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up, I made up my mind. Say a Jesus name so sweet, Emmanuel name so say Jesus name so sweet, Emmanuel name so say a day me rock me rock upon Jesus, Jesus name so say day me rock me rock upon Jesus name so you say a day me rock me rock upon Somebody say, I am under the rock. The rock is higher than I. You say, Jehovah hides 
The rock is higher than Jehovah, Jehovah. I am under the rock. Go tell, go tell my enemies. I am under the rock. Jehovah, Jehovah. I am under Are you ready for this one? Everybody, fire, fire, fire. Fire, 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 fire for Like the day, like the day of Pentecost. Fire for me, like the day of Pentecost. Fire, fire for me. Give God.
Somebody clap your hands at you. To whom, to him who sits on the throne, and unto the Lamb be blessings and honor and glory and power forever and ever. Christ in me, the hope of all glory. And because he lives in me, I can face every challenge. I got power to command. I got power to speak it. Hallelujah. 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 Please clap your hands and give God praise. I want everybody to take a special offering tonight. A commanding offering. Commanding offering. A commanding offering. An offering that will put an end to your battles. An offering that will silence the enemy. An offering that will provoke the devil not to respond again an offering that will unleash your miracle tonight oh I feel God here I feel God here I feel God here if you cannot feel him then I don't know where you are apostle the spirit of the Lord is over you it's over you this is God this is the presence of God. This is the real presence of God. It's not fabricated. It's not duplicated. It's not imitated. This is the presence of God. And some of, some of you believe me, every offering you put on this altar will silence the voice of the enemy fighting your destiny. Because you found your commanding voice back. Some of you have lost your authority, but tonight I see angels restoring back to you, giving back to you what the devil stole from you. Oh, I don't know how I will close the service, but I have to. And as you leave and go home, may this presence follow you home. In your cars, may you encounter God. May you experience God in a different dimension, even when you sit in your cars. This is the presence of God. Every sacrifice, I was telling somebody that in the Old Testament, we would have brought sheep, goats, bulls, and slaughtered them on the altar. This service would have had a lot of blood here. And when it goes to heaven, God comes to receive it in this dispensation we cannot do that but our sacrifices becomes that blood that goes to heaven that's why we still have altars if sacrifices were not necessary then the church wouldn't need an altar if sacrifices had has expired then altars should expire tell me sacrifices are not needed if you can go to any church and it, it has no altar if the church has no altar then we have moved into a dispensation where churches don't need altar but if churches have altars then ask yourself what goes on the altar if witch doctors if witch doctors opium men juju men warlocks have altars then what do they put on their altar and if you have your altar then what are you supposed to engage the altar with if your mindset is it's another way to collect my money then keep your money this altar doesn't need those kind of spirits here nobody needs your money your money needs this altar 
because your money represents your blood and altars thirst for blood if you think I'm the one that will take you out of your problem you made a big you deceived yourself it is this altar you think what elder Arthur and those who came where were doing is splashing money you're crazy if you think somebody was splashing money. no they were spilling their bloods on this altar provoking this altar to speak we are in a dispensation of faith so the duty of pastors is to teach you how to visually envision fire burning that so it is the job of preachers pastors to teach you how to envision fire and blood on the altar that's where the problem is because pastors are not able to or don't have the revelation to teach you on how you must envision that this is blood and this is fire so we have no value for it because we cannot see it that's where the problem is but if you can understand that everything you know there must get to a time in the service some of you must drop your car keys and say papa this is my sacrifice the, dr mo people who own rolls royces in africa own it outright it's not on loan people who own rolls royces here don't own it they pay on loan africa anyone who owns a million dollar house it means they've paid for it one million dollar you are still broke in america don't think you're rich don't think you're rich africans can give plots of lands cars they they put it on the altar they put it on the altar and walk away believe in god that he will you know in africa we don't have nhs and all these uh, 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 insurance, whatever, uh, how do you call it? Life insurance, no, not life insurance, you know this, Medicare and uh, Obamacare. We don't have that in Africa. Africa, if you're sick, you will die. So you must pray for God to heal you. That's how we built our faith. If you don't rack a ball and rack a shah, you will die in the room. In fact, in hospitals, if you don't have money, you, you will not get a bed. Nope. Go to Africa hospitals, they put pregnant women on floors to give birth. So, so the faith of Africans, the diamond, you have no choice than to trust God to bring water out of the rock. So, when an African man is wealthy, everything he owns belongs to him. The house you live in is not yours. If you miss two months, they'll collect it from you. Is not yours anyone who owns a house in Africa is theirs paid for tonight God will give you grace to pay for everything let your amen you will you will have the mindset of God God lives in your mind and I've never seen or heard God borrow God does not borrow God does not borrow that house you live in may God give you grace to pay times four I've worked with Muslims on properties. No Muslim buys a property on loan. No Muslim, no Muslim buys a house on loan. It's, it's a crime, it's an error. They buy it cash, they own it for their children's children. Tonight, may the anointing for paying for all. Your car notes, you will pay for all your houses you will pay for all that anointing is falling on somebody here take a sacrifice engage the altar you can't experience god in this dimension and leave no 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 oh something has shifted here if you're given by cash up the details are on the screen those watching online i know you are experiencing a double of this presence because one of the testimonies that we keep hearing is those who are watching online testify more than those who are even in here. That's how strong the wavelength and the frequency of the power that dwelleth in here is online. If this church does not change your destiny, please take on overtimes at work. Take on Sundays, work 24-7. If this presence doesn't change your life or heal you, call me a false prophet please do you have my permission to you have my permission to 
take a sacrifice. Give through cash up, zeal, whatever facility and lift it up. And now you say, God, give me a commanding voice. Give me, a, affliction cannot happen the second time. Give me a, take a sacrifice. Lord, tonight I demand for my commanding voice. The devil does not run because I'm asking him for what belongs to me. I'm not commanding him. And if God lives in me, the devil knows what God does. God is a commander. God is not an asker. So the reason why he's not responding to you is you are, he doesn't know who he's speaking to. You. You don't, you're not talking from a place of power. Tonight, at midnight, when you begin to pray, the devil will say, hey, pack your stuff, let's go. Amen. If you're texting to give, it's four plus one. Set. I can't. I'm, uh, he's reading for me. Text the figure on to 4490220. If you're writing a check, write it to the Rock Hill Church. If you're giving via card, please go to the lady on my right hand side. Quickly do it. Let me close the service. Forgive me if I took too long. I'm so sorry. Please, I apologize. I, I could not help this one. I couldn't help it. Please rise up, everybody, those watching online. Give. A commanding offering an offering that angels would know that this one we must arise and come down quickly quickly if you're tithing please come I will anoint all tithers all offerings are going on the altar quickly come for the service for the presence for an atmosphere The baby we dedicated on Tuesday, Mama is here. Where's Mama? Come over, Mama. Please celebrate this beautiful woman. Pastor Jackie, do you have the gifts here? Do you have this? Come, Mama. Come over. Wow. Please be seek seated for a second. Wow. Can I have a hug? Oh. Can somebody say, oh. oh. Welcome home. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey, hey. Good to see you. Hey. God has given you a beautiful gift. I changed her name. Mercy. That's her new name. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Today, please, please bring mercy to me. Prophetess, please celebrate baby mercy. We dedicated her on Tuesday. It was an emergency. Mercy, come, baby. Father. We present this baby to you again. The mother is here, Lord. Let this baby become a miracle to the mother. Let this baby become a bundle of joy to the mother. Whenever you see your baby, you'll smile. Because good news will come to you every time. God will change your entire destiny for good. You did not send her here by chance. It was by divine appointment. We have a gift for you, Mercy. You hold it. Thank you. We love you. This is Mercy's home. And we cannot wait to fellowship more with you. Anytime you need us, call on us. We will be here. Okay. God bless you. you go. What's your name? Rita. Rita. Ruth. Father. Bless Ruth. Turn.
turn her destiny around. Give her a reason to smile again. In Jesus' name, amen. Please go to that. Please celebrate Mercy and Ruth. Celebrate them. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Lift your sacrifice up. If you don't have any church to go to, this is the Rock Hill Church, the home for weeks. There are a lot of churches around, but what I say is give us three months and watch your destiny change. Here at Rock Hill Church, we believe in the word of God. We believe in the prophetic. We believe in sound teaching of the word. We believe in deliverance. Matter of fact, deliverance was the first thing Jesus did when he came on earth. Then miracles. And we believe in all of that. If you believe in God for a miracle that no man can do, make your way here. Invite all your friends here. And I promise you, I promise you, your life will never be the same. My name is Dr. Sonny Badu, the lead usher of this church. And it's always a privilege to serve you. Please help me to celebrate yourselves. Lift your sacrifices up. Father, I thank you that this sacrifice represents our blood. This is what we worked for. This is what we toiled for. And in the realms of the spirit, when it falls on the altar, our prayers are heard. Tonight, may every prayer not be left answered. This sacrifice they hold, let it be the least they will ever give in your house. I command this sacrifice to bring your healing, your deliverance, your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, please shout amen three times. If you're given via card, go to the lady on my right hand side. The protocol team will direct you. I will receive everybody's office. Uh, off offering and put it on the altar after service wait for your shoes don't take anybody's shoes and shoe sorry wait for your shoe do not take anyone's shoe worship team give me a song please rise up on your feet with joyfulness and gladness
Everybody rise up on your feet. Take your seat. Did you bring your anointing oil? You forgot it? <laughs> okay. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday is your deadline. Everyone should bring a bottle of oil on Tuesday. Not an old oil. Brand new one. A new bottle of oil. Is that okay? This Tuesday. This Tuesday, everyone is fasting as well. Six to six. Six to what? We are. This is somebody's bottle, right? No, he will replace it. I poured it on his head. Elder McGregor will replace it. 
Have you been blessed tonight? Yeah. Amen. Um, we're still, can we go offline? Are we offline? Offline. 